Hey, it's Matt Kelly for Hybrid Fest, the Green Drive Expo here in Madison, Wisconsin at the Alliant Energy Center. Joined today by John Dolan. He is the hybrid expert for Smart Toyota of Madison, Wisconsin. It's a pleasure you having doing? you on the show today, John. I got to tell you, we're standing in front of the 2010 Prius. I'm really excited for me. It's my first time seeing it. Oh, excellent. Well, as you know, this is the third generation Prius. What we have here is the latest reiteration of the iconic Prius. Mm -hmm. Um, what they've done is they've made the car more roadworthy than before. Uh, handles like a regular car, more mainstream, and that's been the whole evolution of Toyota's technology to make this less like a science project and more like a mainstream car. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we see here. So let's start with uh, under the hood, of course. Okay. They've uh, increased power by going to a 1.8 liter motor, gas mm -hmm. ICE motor as opposed to the 1.5 that was in there before. Okay. That increases the acceleration, obviously, but at the same time, it's a more responsive motor, too. Um, increased the power of the electric system to 650 volts. It was 500 before, mm. once it went through the inverter and the converter. Mm -hmm. So we're up to 650. That enabled them to uh, utilize a more powerful electric motor. The old Prius had a 66 horsepower electric motor. Now we've gone to an 80 horsepower electric motor. Wow. But the unique thing about this electric motor is it's got half of the torque of the old one. Wow. And what they've done is they've done some other ingenious hybrid changes. This hybrid system has been about 90% redesigned wow. on this Prius. No kidding. Uh, they put a gear reduction unit to be used with the electric motor. Hmm. So with the combination of that gear reduction unit and the extra horsepower, the torque is about the same at the low end. The neat thing is it enables the electric motor to be used more at higher speeds. Wow. So it helps out more. On oh, the, that's great. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I just, I love the front face and particularly these new headlights. Right, we've uh, we've gone to LED now, mm -hmm. headlights. Great. Uh, high beams are still halogen. Okay. Uh, when you go up the different grades, uh, this is a Prius 2, you go up to Prius 4 and 5, uh, you can get all LEDs with those. Uh, so it's a double LED. Uh -huh. They've got a, a short range and a long range LED. Great. And then still you have a high beam that's halogen. And we've got a new uh, dam down here as well. Right. Uh, they changed the whole bumper fascia. Mm -hmm. In fact, I mean, what haven't they changed yeah. on this car, basically? Yeah. And yet, at the same time, it still has that iconic Prius shape, you know? And that's something they didn't want to mess with. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, all of the wind tunnel studies decided how it was going to look anyway. It's all the math. Right. The drag coefficient. Exactly. As long as we're talking about the drag coefficient, Unbelievably, they were able to milk another one hundredth of a degree uh -huh. off of that, so it's 0 0.025 as no opposed to 0 0.026. That's great. Um, little things that they did, mm -hmm. uh, the way they changed the, the little spats underneath here. Sure. They've got more underbody uh, coverings on it, so it's more wing-like. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, there are any two, two uh, little fins in the back that mm -hmm. t you know take the vortexes away as, you, as the air passes through. Okay. And you can see the wheel well and the tire. Pretty much like a fender skirt effect. Yeah, right? it's seamless. It's mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. very uh, uh, flush. Um, all kinds of other uh, changes uh, inside. Uh, added a lot of new technology. That's the whole thing about the Prius. It's, it's sort of like the epitome of technology, you know? It's the iPod of cars, right. so to speak. Uh, they're starting to think that they're bringing more Lexus buyers into the fold. Ah. So they went to these high technology packages huh. uh, that have things like lane keep assist, uh, where there's a warning, it works with a with a laser camera. Yeah. When you're starting to go over your yellow line, the camera's minding that yellow line for you. Uh, there'll be a little buzzer telling you went over the line, and the steering wheel will gently tug you. No kidding. Tug you to the right. To That's tell you incredible. That you're getting out of your so, lane. So I mean, see it on this vehicle, but I understand that the 2010 Prius does have the uh, the solar roof. Yep. Mm -hmm. Solar roof. Uh, the panels are are designed. Uh, the photo photovoltaic cells are designed by Kiosera. Um, they're capable of storing enough energy to run an exhaust fan. Great. So if you're in your office all day, you can run the exhaust fan and it'll uh, filter out all the greenhouse heat in your vehicle. It also works in conjunction with a remote AC. Wow. So when your batteries are all in the proper state of charge and your windows are up, you press the AC from about 30 feet away and it'll run your AC for about three minutes to cool your car down before That's you get great. going. John Dolan, what a pleasure. I have to just compliment uh, Toyota again. And for yourself, uh, for Smart Toyota of Madison, I can imagine that these things are going out, uh, out yep. the door almost uh, as quickly as they come in. Even uh, in a time of reasonable gas prices, we're still seeing waiting lists. Wonderful. So that's, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. great. I'm Matt Kelly for the Next Gear Green at Hybrid Fest, the Green Drive Expo in Madison, Wisconsin.